Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Every year, around March the 20th, the spring equinox arrives. Sweet and fresh, crisp bamboo shoots, soybean flower rolls and sun cakes all symbolize plentiful grain. The spring announcer gives his blessings to each home to wish for a good harvest. The spring equinox is a real equalizer. Spring is halfway through. It's just as warm as it is cold. Day and night are just as long as each other. Anren in Hunan province is a rural town surrounded by hills. Nearly a thousand different species of Chinese medicinal herbs are grown in these hills. Slowly maturing through the winter, they are now ripe for picking at the spring equinox. Chinese people call this place the capital of medicine. Hello, my name is Dominic and you're watching the Seasons of China. Now we're on to the next solar term and I've traveled to Hunan province to a little town called Anren. I've heard that there's an amazing fair here. It's called the Ganfen Shu. Now what I do know is that 200,000 people gather in this town every year and they have done for thousands of years to celebrate this fair. Why are the Chinese so into herbal medicine? How have they kept this market in herbs going for so long? The local people said I'd find out if I visited one particular old man, 70-year-old Chen Zhangwen. He's known as Anren's living medicine god. Chen Jiangwen is not strictly speaking a doctor, but every day many sick people come looking for him. He uses the most traditional methods to examine his patients and, according to what's wrong with them, weighs out custom-made recipes. I haven't even stepped a foot inside and I'm already struck by the overpowering smell of these potions. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Hello. As with most consultations, the first thing you do at Dr. Chen's is show him your wrists. Mm. 
，病的时间长，不是一两年，嗯，最少三年。Dr. Chen's diagnosis has taken me by surprise. Four years ago, I really did have a surgery on my hip. Without any kind of stethoscope or heat sensor or analysis, he could tell there was something wrong years ago. I don't know how he did it. But Dr. Chen's magic doesn't stop there. Anren is a traditional farming county. Everyone works in agriculture. At spring equinox, people are all busy in the fields. At this time of year, Dr. Chen's family makes a special soup for all of their neighbors. Word has it, for a hearty body and strong bones, there's nothing like it. Apart from the regular ingredients, everything in the soup has been gathered from the hills of Anren. At least 30 medicinal herbs. This is my first time collecting medicine in the wilderness. Yeah. 你看，这个也是有，这个感觉来讲，这个也是一样，这个，嗯，你跟那个油蹄子一样的，嗯，油蹄风，嗯哼，好，好，好久。It's mm -hmm. like every part of this forest seems to have some kind of medicine. It's quite fascinating. Precious medicinal herbs are often hidden in the deepest forest. This guy is in his 70s, his mid-70s in fact, and uh, he's climbing up these mountains. We've reached uh, a small waterfall, and now we've got to a part that I'm not even gonna go and try and climb, up this rock face, to get to a plant up there. It's incredibly impressive. And this is a man who's never had Western medicine in his life. I'm not expecting to enjoy it. Mm. It's fresh, all right. You now are doing what? Can you see it? No. Wow. It's like a giant root vegetable. It's like they found a leaf and then they started digging on a cliff and then we've just started pulling out all of these humongous root vegetables or whatever they are. This is, uh, this is extreme Chinese medicine at its best. 
After a whole winter of gaining energy, the herbs of the spring equinox are at their most potent. Chinese medicinal practitioners believe medicinal herbs that grow in nature have different properties depending on the season. Chinese herbal medicines that are picked at different times will have different effects on the human body dependent on the solar term. So different soups are consumed during different solar terms, playing different roles on physical fitness. All the ingredients are ready. Five kilograms of collagen-rich front pig hoof. More than 30 magical herbs are stewed for over 24 hours and then ready to do their magic in the bowl. March the 20th, the arrival of the spring equinox, and it also marks the start of Ganfen Shu, the herbal market originating from the Song Dynasty of China. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, still doing this. At night, you still need to do this. You have to 去吃早餐吧，吃早餐吧、嗯，吃什么呢？一看就知道了，不知道就更愿意吃。嗯。<笑> At a bustling breakfast stall, people are waiting patiently. Tang Pi is a breakfast speciality of Anren. Who needs a coffee in the morning when you can wake yourself up with very spicy chili? Look at that. All right, don't don't need coffee. Add in a little bit more chili with chili oil, then add in some spicy sort of carrot, bit of seaweed, tofu, and some spicy green veg. 什么都加。按照你们这个本地人的标志来弄就行。哇，谢谢，谢谢。哇，嗯，嗯。Well, I have. Oh, oh, it's spicy. And wow, that really gets the senses good. How much? Very good. Oh, well, it's early in the morning. And Ganfen Shu, the thousand-year-old market, is just starting to kick off behind me. People are bringing in sort of bag loads of wood and all kinds of stuff. I have no idea what it is, but it's a pretty exciting atmosphere. For 1,000 years since the Song Dynasty, during the spring equinox, Ganfen Shu sees people from across China trade all kinds of Chinese herbal medicine. 你是开这个车，从江西过来的，每年都来，来了又是年了。反正朋友在这里，就是不做生意，要过来玩就是。那你有一些老顾客都来自哪儿呢？是啊，四川、贵州的也有，贵州的也有。他把他们那里带到这里来，然后把这里的又带回去。关系的药，然后也可以跟当地的一些什么安人的药来来换。然后到那边卖、嗯。我们家就是做了几十年，就是做这个。你也不吃西药呢？我我没有吃过西药，我没吃过西药。<笑>不吃西药。<笑>没有吃过药。大家。In all of my years in China, it's fascinating to find a place where almost every Chinese person I've met takes Chinese medicine. But if you leave China, it's very hard to find people who actually believe in it, or practice or use it outside of a Chinese community. It's the first time I've had the chance to come to the source of it, and it's amazing to see these incredible potent herbs all around us. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
，有的是红的，嗯，有的是白的，嗯，红的效果好一点，是吧？需要发烧的同时，就这么一点就会好。嗯。Identifying Chinese herbal medicines for me is simply impossible to accomplish. It's really hard to understand that Chinese people will use these strange grass roots to cure diseases and even by taking daily maintain their bodies. However, what you have to admire is before the introduction of Western medicine into China in the early 19th century, Chinese people relied on these unexplained methods to cure diseases. It was their only form of medicine. In spring, plant just one grain, and in autumn, you can harvest 10,000. Chinese people often use these words to describe their gratitude for the efforts of their ancestors. The spring equinox is the year's sowing season, so it has become the day to celebrate the god of herbs, Shen Nong. In Chinese mythology, Shen Nong tasted the herbs in Anren and tried the medicine, inventing a way for treating diseases with herbs. This is how Chinese medicine started. It's early evening in Dr. Chen's yard. You can definitely smell the soup. After 24 hours of uninterrupted stewing, the essence of herbs is well blended with the goodness of the pork knuckle stew. The aroma of this bowl of soup is intense and warming. This is the taste of the spring equinox in Anren town. Mmm. Mmm. This has been a spring equinox full of herbs teaching us yet again how important nature is for the Chinese. By observing nature, Chinese people have spent the last 1,000 years extracting value from roots and grasses and keeping alive the connection between plants and the seasons. Medicine in China isn't just about healing, but more about living in tune with the seasons eating the right things at the right time and living well. This has been passed down through millennia, keeping traditional culture alive.